Hi, Jenny here and recently I went to visit my friend living in Germany and since she's also a book lover we of course had to seek out bookstores when we visited Düsseldorf together. So here is that vlog. Quick note before we get to the vlog I wanted to highlight an organization that is currently providing food and necessities in Gaza that is Care for Gaza on Twitter. You can find out how you can support them on their Twitter account at Care for Gaza. They're doing really incredible work and constantly post proof of people getting the help they need. Okay, so Care for Gaza. Okay, so I ended up buying four books while visiting bookshops. All of them are from one bookshop, but here are the four of them. First up is Cleopatra and Frankenstein by Coco Millers. Obviously, I had seen this on BookTok. By the way, I haven't been on TikTok for several months now and I'm so happy about it. But I saw it on BookTok and BookTube. So, of course, I was intrigued by, you know seeing a familiar book in the store but also when i read the back cover it was so different from what i expected it to be so basically this is about cleo who needs a green card to stay in new york and she ends up getting married to frank and yeah it's about their um adventures and relationships then the font is really small, interesting. I was really intrigued by this and I can't wait to read it. The next book is Secret Nunez's The Vulnerables. And I was intrigued by this book based on this one sentence alone. Uh, the Vulnerables offers a mediation on our contemporary era as a solitary female narrator asks what it means to be alive at this complex moment in history. I also want to know what it means to be alive in this complex moment in history. I did read online that this may be like COVID related story or reflection, but again, really look forward to reading this. Next up is Persuasion by Jane Austen. So basically, I had only one English copy of Persuasion and then I also had it in Finnish. And since Joel and I have been doing these read-alongs, buddy reads of Jane Austen books together and we both want to read them in English, I thought it would be nice to have another copy of it in English. And obviously the Penguins uh, classics editions are so beautiful and I'm really happy with this and I really look forward to reading Persuasion with Joel. Uh, Persuasion is my one of my top Jane Austen books as far it is for many people since it's a incredibly written story. So yes, happy to have another copy of Persuasion. And the last book that I got in Düsseldorf is Huang Bodem's Welcome to the Hyunam Dong Bookshop. I actually started reading this on my way back home. I read a little over half of it. And this is basically about a woman who started her own bookstore and about her running it and also, you know, about her friends and acquaintances. And she then eventually hires a barista for the bookshop, uh, Minjun. 
and basically much of the book is about reflecting our current society regarding work and how it has taken over our lives over like our personal needs and you know our relationships this book has all those lovely discussions about books that you know all book lovers love but also really great reflections on what it means to be a person in this society and meet those expectations and maybe not meeting those expectations that everybody has you know this is very timely for me as well you know regarding work and so on and so forth so i really loved this book all right that's it for me if you would like to see more videos discussing pop culture a little bit of history and books mostly books please consider subscribing to jen's cosmos i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope i see you in the next one bye